It turns out that magnets are not the only things that produce magnetic field. In 1820, during a lecture, Danish scientist Hans Christian Ørsted noticed the magnetic compass deflecting when a nearby electric current from a battery was turned on. This showed that the electric current can produce magnetic field, confirming a direct relationship between electricity and magnetism. Here I have a ammeter connected to a power supply, DC power supply, and here this is a aluminum loop for current to flow, and that's a magnetic compass. And I'm going to turn on the current now. When the current turns on, it produces a magnetic field and deflects the magnetic compass. You see the current reading now is about 5 amps. And notice how the magnetic compass now is uh, almost perpendicular to the plane that the current loop is in. We use capital B for magnetic field. To find the direction of magnetic field produced by electric current I, we use this thing called the right hand rule. We will use the thumb for the direction of the current and the curved four fingers for the direction of the magnetic field. Please do this with me. Hold your right hand like this, with your thumb sticking out and curve your four fingers. Let's say we have a long straight current going upward. We need the thumb to be in the direction of the current, so I have to line up the thumb upward with the current. And the curve of the four fingers will give us the direction of the magnetic field. So on the right side of the current, the four fingers go into the paper, behind the current the four fingers will go to the left. On the left side of the current, the four fingers go towards us. And then in front of the current, the four fingers go to the right. So the field lines go around this current and it goes like a circle. If I draw the magnetic field lines for this long straight current, I would draw circles around the current. Notice how I break the line over there, that means uh, that part is behind the long straight current. So in front of the current, the field goes to the right. Behind the current, the field goes to the left. And I can draw more magnetic field lines. They all form circles. Close the loops. So these are the magnetic field lines produced by long straight current. Of course, we can also draw the field lines this way we can draw them like this. That broken part means it's behind. Behind the current, the field goes to the left. That will be the front. The f in front of the current, the field goes to the right. So you can also draw it like this, the field lines. These two figures may look like they contradict each other, but they do not. Let's say this ring here represents a circular magnetic field line. The figure on the left is a view from slightly above. The figure on the right is a view from slightly below. In both figures, the magnetic field goes to the right in the front, goes to the right in the front, and goes to the left in the back. Here I have a vertical segment of the wire that is a part of a wire loop that is connected to this DC power supply. Now the power supply is off and around the wire I have six magnetic compasses over there. Let's see what happens when I turn on the power supply. Now the current is going upward so if I use my thumb to follow the current and I use the right hand rule I will get the magnetic field going in a clockwise direction. So you can see that the Magnetic compasses, they line up in a clockwise direction. And I can turn off the current. And I can turn it back on. Turn it off. And then back. Now the current is on. And I'm going to try to switch the polarity. The direction of the current. As you can see, now the current is going downward. So if I, my thumb follows the current, the, my four fingers will go in a clockwise direction. So the compasses, they go now clockwise direction. 
I can also ask you about the direction of the magnetic field, say, on the right side of this long straight current. So again, I use my thumb to follow the current. On the right side, the field goes into the paper. So the direction goes into the paper. When the direction goes into the paper or away from us, we draw an X with a circle around it to show the direction. Because if an arrow is traveling away from us, of course, this is just a dart. If it travels away from us, we would see the feather end of the arrow. And this X represents the feather tail of the arrow. Sometimes people draw it with a circle around it. Sometimes people just draw X's without the circles. What if I ask you for the direction of the magnetic field on the left side of the current? Again, we use the thumb to follow the current. On the left side, the four fingers come towards us or out of the paper. So this magnetic field goes out of the paper. For out of the paper, we draw a dot with a circle around it to show the direction. Because if an arrow travels towards us or out of the paper, we would see the tip of the arrow. So the dot represents the tip of the arrow. Again, sometimes people draw a dot with a circle around it. Sometimes people just draw dots like this without the circle. Now let's look at the circular current. Suppose the current in this loop goes to the left in the front and to the right in the back. It goes like this. To find the direction of the magnetic field produced by this circular current, we do the same thing. We use our thumb to follow the current and then use the curve of the four fingers to figure out the direction of the magnetic field. So we would go up on the outside down on the inside. So the magnetic field line would form a closed loop this way. If we use the front of the current, the thumb follows the current. On the outside, the field lines will go up also and down on the inside. If I use this segment of the current, the thumb follows the current. Again, the field lines will go up on the outside, down on the inside. So the lines will all go up and down on the inside. Up on the outside, down on the inside. So the lines, the field lines, they form loops like this all the way around. So it's kind of like a donut shape around this uh, circular current. So I'm drawing that circular current over here. Notice how I broke it over there. That means the, in the back, the current goes to the right. In the front, the current goes to the left. And I can draw the magnetic field lines. The magnetic field lines will go up on the outside, down on the inside. So the field lines will go like this. And I can draw more field lines like these. They all go down inside the loop, up outside the loop, down inside the loop. Notice that the one at the center goes straight down. And do these field lines remind you of anything? These field lines are kind of like the field lines produced by a bar magnet. A bar magnet is also a magnetic dipole, which means the current loops are also magnetic dipoles because current loop acts like a bar magnet, so a current loop is also an electromagnet. If we wish to make a strong electromagnet, we would use lots of current loops, like a coil, which we call solenoid. Because all field lines go through inside of the loop, but on the outside, they spread out. That means for a current loop, the magnetic field is the strongest inside the loop. Just like the magnet, the field lines are the densest over here too. When we make a coil, all those lines will be bundled inside here. So we get a very strong magnetic field inside. 
but the field lines would spread out on the outside so the magnetic field it would be weaker on the outside but the strong inside the coil because uh, every loop of the current goes to the left in the front so inside the magnetic field lines will go downward just like that one now let's try this question there's a circular current in the plane of this paper find the direction of the magnetic field produced by this circular current at the center of the circle we can use our thumb to follow the current we don't have to put our thumb over there because the current goes around this way so I can put my thumb over here or there or anywhere any part of the circle I'll get the same result so if I go use the right side of the circle the current will go up that way and uh, on the left side the four fingers come out of the paper that means uh, over there which is on the left side of that part of the current has a magnetic field that comes out of the paper if I use the, this part that the this segment of the current then above it it's uh, out of the paper also so the answer is out of the paper that means that we draw a circle with a dot or X a dot that's out of the paper so that's the direction of the magnetic field See, the current reading now is about 5 amps. And notice how the magnetic compass now is uh, almost perpendicular to the plane that the current loop is in.